You can create a motion menu that starts with an animation and ends with a loop. Now, some people try to do this with a short video track that jumps to a still menu. But the problem with that is that you'll notice a delay as the DVD laser physically moves between two different spots in the disc. Also, with some older versions of DVD Studio Pro, when you jump from a video to a still, you may notice a gamma shift and differences in sizes, and it's just ugly, and it's really not necessary. If you look at a lot of Hollywood DVDs, you'll figure out this isn't even how they do it. There is a technique that minimizes these problems, and that's to make a motion menu with a loop point. When your motion menu has a loop point, you can say start it with an animation, play it to the end, and wherever you want the menu to repeat, you make that frame a loop point. In this example, a motion menu was built in Final Cut Pro using an Adobe Photoshop file. It has an animation at the first two seconds, then after that the objects are essentially static for the rest of the project, which looks like a still menu, but is in fact a motion menu that just isn't moving. So at the moment where all movement stops, add a chapter marker called Menu Loop Point. The menu will play to the end, and then start looping again from here. DVD Studio Pro detects this marker and knows to loop the menu starting right here. As a reminder, to make a marker a menu loop point, park your playhead on the frame where you want to begin your loop. Press M to make the marker, M again to edit it, name it menu loop point, and click the add chapter marker button. Import this QuickTime movie into DVD Studio Pro, drop it into an empty menu, and you'll see that the menu's loop point is automatically set. Simulate the menu, and notice as it plays to the end, it will repeat starting from the menu loop point that you set. If you want to jump to this menu later, from say another chapter on the disc, you can even tell DVD Studio Pro you would rather start immediately from the loop menu point rather than from the absolute beginning. We'll see how to do this in another lesson.